It gives. It gives. Child. The chair is getting ready to fall apart, honey. Oh, I need to rescrew it. I'm not going to do that right now, child. And the light. This one looks crazy. Oh, yes, light. Let me get my tools. Ooh, curling iron, yes. We also need the flat iron. Yes. We need this. And I would like, tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. You'll never change my mind. I hate it. Oh, gosh, y'all. I got a bra on, child. Let me put my, I'll be back. <laughs> you guys like long form in a long time yes y'all see me in a wig cap honey i was in my fall wig room i don't have a fall wig room but i was in my closet and i went in my wigs and i was like it's fall i gotta bring the colors out again you know what i'm saying we gotta bring the fall colors out and i just wanted to revamp this wig right here this burgundy brownish reddish unit that i think looks really really good on me and the color and i want to switch the part to the right hand side and while i switch the part i just figured i'd just come on here and talk like i have not done a long form video in a long time since i think my christmas what i got for christmas but even before then like any type of life updates things of that nature i have not done them so i'm here to just kind of do a little quick video as I style this wig and kind of give you guys a life update on what's been going on with me and where I've been and things of that nature. If you've been following along, you know I've been traveling a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So that's been the majority of my last year and a half since October of 2022. Oh, it's the last year actually. Um, and I've been enjoying every single moment of it. I do think that, as usual, I'll say, I've kind of lost the, the, the vision on what I'm on YouTube for. I can always update and do this and, hey, I got a new car, hey, there's like these little drop-ins, but I'm struggling with knowing what kind of content I wanna create that would allow me to be consistent. Like, I haven't figured out this algorithm thing at all. Um, I tried vlogs. Vlogs didn't come across as something that was going to grow my channel. Um, travel, you know, that's what I really, that's my passion. That's what gets a little bit of, a little bit more views than the regular stuff. Um, so I'm wondering what the next step or the next phase of YouTube is for me or if I should just give it up because honestly that's also an option I never want to force anything that doesn't feel natural for me um, you can easily be able to talk to a camera but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you should be doing you know my career has changed in the last two years I've changed locations I've moved it's just been a lot of life so let's kind of rewind I think the last time you guys saw me really vlogging I was just out of a relationship I just had my breakup and I was kind of rediscovering myself so going on walks and doing the flowers every week which I still do to this day that I'm very 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 proud of because listen it's kind of like a self-care thing I may not always get a facial or a massage as often as I would like to but that's the one thing that I can show up for myself each week and say you know what you got to go and get your flowers like if I'm in town and if I have time I'm going to get my flowers each and every week that's not going to change so I have since got rid of my podcast 
it's still up there, you know, but I'm not posting on it anymore. I gave up on the podcast and decided to change directions for that. I am heavier into TikTok, but I do want to get to a point where I'm actually making money from TikTok. I just feel like I have too much talent. I don't want to say talent, but I have too much. What's the word I'm looking for? I have too much pizzazz to just be on there giving away my personality for free. <laughs> if I'm being honest. So I'm just in a phase of, you know, rediscovery and learning what I like and what I want and how I'm trying to determine how I'm going to get there. I'm getting older, child. When I started YouTube, shoot, I might have been 31, 32. I don't know. I'm 36 now. I'm on my way to 40. And I, you know, uh, sometimes I get lost. I get lost like everybody else. I don't like this part over here, so I'm gonna switch it to this side. But this wig had a lot of damage, so I sent it to this girl on TikTok to revamp it. And she did, she did a great job of revamping it. But I don't, I want, I don't know. I'm a right side part girly. Yeah, because I'm left-handed. I like my part on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get this on the right hand side without showing too much of the damage of the lace and stuff and see if we can transition this to the other side which i feel like we can but i don't want too much i don't want the track to show my wig girls know that track be on that other side just waiting to say peekaboo waiting to say hello hello y'all see like all up in here, it's kind of over bleached, which, yeah, that's a little bit too, a little bit too much for me. And the track is right here. Do I twist it a little bit more? And just, do I want to, no, I can't do a middle part because I remember the lace being bad in the middle. I think I'll just do. Oh, what if I do a bang? Oh, y'all, don't get me to get no ideas, please, because y'all know I'm not a I'm not a stylist. I will cut this wig and jack it up. But I think I need a bang. Y'all, I think I need a bang. No, for real, y'all. <laughs> Look at me trying to convince y'all. I think I need a bang. Oh, I'm gonna take this to my stylist. I'm gonna take this to my the girl that does my natural hair. I'm going to have her cut this into a bang. Since the um, lace is already messed up, I think this is a good transition to put it into a bang. Not the bang, the bang. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't had a bang in a while. This is going to be my bang wig. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. That solves the, the issue with the... Oh, if y'all know me in 2008, I used to have this color on my real hair. It's just so nostalgic. Oh my God, I just had a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna take this to my beautician. I'm gonna have her cut a bang in it. But for now, do I wanna do a swoop? Y'all, I don't really know too many wig styles, if I'm being honest. I don't know a whole lot about like wig styles and making them look, making them look, you know, cute and wearable. But I might, I might try to swoop. But anyway, as I'm styling this wig, I just came on here to kind of update y'all on what's been going on. I changed careers. The last time y'all saw me, I was just getting out of a relationship and I was vlogging and I was shopping and I was doing all of the things. Then shopping turned into traveling and then traveling turned into more shopping. And I just been everywhere. Like I've been to five, five or six countries since, oh, since I stopped the vlogging, y'all saw I got my new car. Life has been really good. Like I really can't complain about anything. I can't really say like, it's been terrible. Um, since losing my grandma in 2021, I have been trying to get my weight under control. I just kind of hit a roadblock of like, I'm tired of counting. I'm tired of counting calories. I'm tired of watching my this and doing this and doing that. And like, I was just sick of it. Like I had been on a diet for 10 years. Like. HCG diet, 
in my early 20s, I was dieting. You know what I'm saying? And like 1,500 calories and then keto and then regular workouts and then lifting weights and L-carnitine and, and uh, probiotics and uh, sugar-free this and glutamine that and HCG glycerides. And I just was sick of it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be kind to myself. And in a way I really wasn't because I wasn't treating my body right. But I was like, I'm gonna just do what I wanna do and I'm just gonna eat. I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. That has caused me to gain about 40 pounds, almost 50 pounds. So now I'm at a place where it's like, okay, bro. Okay, bro. You didn't did you do like how you gonna how you gonna snap back because you gotta get you gotta get your life under control now like you lived your life you had your fun which i'm still doing and it's like you you i need to be at least physically active like if i'm not going to just be completely watching my calories down to the calories or whatever then i at least need to be physically active and i think that's a big part of it for me my body is like ma'am and I'm too young for my body to be shutting down on me, for me to be having back pain, for me to just be doing the most, you know, and not really focusing on my health at the same time. This is not the right brush, but I just need to brush the top. Oh, I can't wait to cut bangs into this. I might have to make an appointment for this weekend because I want bangs. I don't have any wigs with bangs. I can't wait. I cannot wait. So, um, yeah, now I'm at a place where I'm ready to get back on track and things of that nature. Because, you know, I've mourned the loss and all of that. And I've just been kind of working and traveling and just doing all the things that I wish I could have done, you know, before. And I've made no apologies. I've let nobody stop me. I've let nobody slow me down. I've just been like, you know, not letting any grass grow underneath my feet. And I think in a way that was kind of like a coping mechanism for like all the loss that I incurred in 2021. But it was the only thing that I knew how to do. You know, I was just like, I have to do things that are gonna make me happy. I can't sit here and, and dwell on the negative things. Like the money is going to come back. One thing about money, money likes me, honey, okay? Money ain't never been shy of, of coming in my, it, thanks to God, okay? Thanks to him doing his big one. Yeah, money has never been like a thing where I just, I've, I've, I've worried about money. Like, don't don't get me wrong. I've definitely worried about money. Like, ooh, what is this? Can I pay for this? Is this going to be this? Is it, but like, I'm not going to say I've been out here reckless acting like I got, you know, $80, $80 million in the bank, you know, but... I do believe in experiences and I do believe in you only live once and I do believe in you got to do it while you got it and I do believe in seasons. There's a season for everything. It's my hope that my season will always be that I can shop the way I want to, you know, and enjoy the finer things in life. And I feel like that's just me. That's my personality, you know? And yeah, I, I'm just looking forward to what, whatever's next. And I just recently got a promotion at my job. And when I tell you hallelujah, I could just shout right now. Because listen, a temporary denial does not mean, a, 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 it's not a permanent no. I worked really, really hard to try to get a role at my current job. And I have been applying all this year. I applied for over seven positions and was told no for seven jobs. And finally, the recruiter said, you know what? Um, we actually have a role that's gonna be coming open that I think you would be good for being on where, based on where you're located. And yeah, that's opening up here. Um, instead of posting it, here go to testimony. Instead of posting it, we're gonna let you interview for it. It was mine. God said, here you go, baby. I know you've been crying. I know you've been stressing. I know you've been working hard trying to get this. I'm gonna go reward you now. I just have to show you that you have to, hey! Hey, my mama. That you had to trust in me, hallelujah. Okay, 
And listen, God will come through and he'll come through right on time. It's all not always about our timing. And was offered a salary that I didn't even know even existed. It was more than I even thought could even be available. I had no idea what the salary range was when I applied for this job. And when she said this, I said, ooh. And then when she said this, I said, uh-uh. And then we met in the middle. <laughs> we met in the middle. Because listen, I know what my value is. You know, sometimes as black women, we have to shrink ourselves and feel like we're not like taking people shine. And do we even belong here? So much uncomfortability in, in the space, right? Like people like to make you feel that you're not worthy of being in the space. And I'm showing up like I'm here. I belong in every room I'm invited to. So even if you are somewhere for an interview, you know what I'm saying? Some people will get called in for an interview and you feel like you don't belong because you didn't meet the criteria. Do you know how many people confidently walk into rooms and, and offices and interview for jobs they don't know how to effing do? What are we doing? How can I help you? Like confident, head held high. I remember I used to look at the ground when I would just walk like, why do we do that? Like, look at the ground, like, no, look up. And I'm going to look at you and I'm going to smile. Now, whether you decide to smile back, that's on you. But I'm, a, I'm not afraid. I'm not shy. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm here for a reason. I'm here on this earth for a reason. And I'm here at this company and in this role for a reason. Like, don't play with her. Please do not play with her. Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, I don't be trying. But baby, this, this, once I figure this out, this little swoop, Baby, they ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. And I think I got some hairspray in here too. They ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. Nothing. The girls do the swoops all the time, but I don't know if I'm ready for a swoop on my wig. I don't know if I'm ready for a swoop on my wig. This is cute. My eyebrows just look a little hairy, child. Just looking a little wolfy. And a little wolfy yeah so i got the promotion i moved to an area that i've always wanted to live in i just i don't know like things are happening oh it's happening for me hallelujah y'all i just wanted to give y'all some encouragement too just like listen it may not look good in the moment but it can only get better it can only get better. It can only get better. That's what you have to remind yourself is that this too shall pass. I had a rough patch for a minute and I just could not see being able to get out of it. And I just was like, what is going on? What is happening? And you just got to wake up every day and just choose to change your mindset. And I promise you, as soon as I change my mindset about me not getting, me not getting, me not getting, my mindset changed to, Lord, this is happening for a reason. Maybe you won't reveal it to me. Maybe I won't know it by tomorrow, but I'm stuck. It may feel like you're stuck, but you're just on pause. I'm stuck in this moment for a reason. Like, why? Why am I stuck here? Why can't I just get the yes that I'm looking for? He had to build you up. He had to prepare you and get you ready. A no doesn't mean stop. That don't mean you stop trying. I applied for like 20, 30 jobs outside of my company. No interviews. No interviews. Not one interview. And I just was like, well, I'm just going to keep trying internally. I'm doing side-by-sides and mentorship and, 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 and going to the departments and seeing what they do and, and reaching out to partners within the department and volunteering for stuff and reaching out to the recruiter. Every single time I applied, I reached out to the recruiter. She knew me by the time we got to this last role that I ended up getting, she knew me. So back to this wig for a moment. I know I'm gonna cut the bangs in it or whatever, but since the lace is fried and dyed to the Let's side. see if I can curl this. I feel like it needs some pizzazz. It's giving side swoop, like, but I don't know how the girls do it. I'm not really good at styling my wigs. I just wear them down or I curl them. But I need some options for the fall. So, what's to come? I know y'all probably like, she on here running her mouth. But what, what, what's to come? 
I'm trying to get these vlogs out, y'all. I really am. I, I try to get these vlogs out, but the thing is, is I'm so big on quality and um, what it looks like and how I edit and what music I add and does it look good? Is the transition there? Are the fonts there? So much so to, I reached out to editors and they were talking about $200 for a 30 minute video. And I was like, no, you freaking lying. Cause I have enough content that could probably get me through the rest of the year. If I post it every week, I've been recording. <sighs> Goodness. I've been to Costa Rica. Y'all saw Colombia. Y'all saw went to Paris. I'm still trying to edit those two vlogs. I went to Belize, Houston twice. <laughs> just <laughs> everywhere. And it's just hard for me to get the videos out. It's hard for me to do it. It's hard for me to do it. It's hard for me to do it. But it will happen. It will happen. I just want my channel to grow. And you know, I have my over 2000 followers, but it's like I've been stuck at 2,500 for like two years, I feel like. And I'm doing the shorts. As y'all see from time to time, I'll upload the shorts. And those will pop up. But I just don't know why. Oh, this gets hot. This this little Con Air. Don't sleep on the Con Air. Child, this thing been popping since 1996. Con Air ain't been playing with the girls. Um, yeah, the shorts I do. But, and I'll, I'll get decent views. And some of that will get me followers. But... I, I want to get back to long form content. I just want to get back to the point where I'm just showing up and talking, you know? Even if it gets, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm gonna I'm gonna start declaring more views. I manifest everything else. I'm starting, I'm about to start manifesting about this YouTube channel. Lord, bring me viewers, bring me sponsorship, bring me all of that, bring me genuine viewers a family uh some growth some 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 excitement some something that'll keep me consistent because i've been manifesting about everything else been manifesting about my career um manifesting about my love life that is still not popping i'm still single which i'm okay with because child y'all know what's in a dating pool because some of y'all didn't put it in there Hello. <laughs> yeah, the dating pool is just, it's just, oh my God, this is so cute. It's giving like, hey, hey, Mr. Postman. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start manifesting consistency with this because I've just gotten to a point where it's just like, Lord, what can I do? You know, the content that I put on TikTok and Instagram, I bring... For whatever reason, TikTok's algorithm is, is I like the way they did it. Because it's not hard to get followers on TikTok. Instagram and YouTube, they act like it, it's going to cost, they, it's going to take money out of their paycheck for us to help us get some followers. Like, God dang. Gosh darn. Like, really, like, I think that's why TikTok came out and it was popping. And I think that's why TikTok is making the money that it makes because it don't mind pushing the people to help you get followers. Like, I don't even know how I got to almost 10,000 followers on TikTok. I posted a couple a couple of videos that went viral. And in, in two separate times, I think I got like 3,000 followers at, based off of two uh, TikToks that I posted. Um, but it's just like... What do I want to do? Do I want to do comedy? Do I want to do fashion? Do I want to do day in a life? Do I want to do, you know, I need to, I really want to do my dating with D series, but because the dates aren't really popping like that these days, I don't even know if I could really make that child dating with D was popping on Instagram in 2019 and in 2018 up into 2020, baby, she was going on dates every single week. That's why that popular video that's on my channel to this day, best dating sites of 2019, 2020, that's how I was able to find my last relationship. I found a couple of relationships off of online dating, but that's neither here nor there. I just wish I had something that I knew could bring the people to the page, especially here. Like I should be at, at at least 10,000, 5,000 minimum. 
Like, I don't know what the people want to see. And then I, it's hard because, yeah, I can do some things that I don't really, that don't really speak to me to get to the point that I want to get at. But then it's just like, what, what next? You know, because people follow you for a certain, for a reason. And then you get there and you get them there. And then they're like, well, this is not the content that I followed you for. So I'm a firm believer in that your audience will find you. Your audience is your audience. But I also need some guidance because the reason why I don't post as often as I used to post is because when you don't see the results after the labor that you just did, you just like, well, why should I keep going? It's a little discouraging, you know? It's like some people, you know, I know I say it all the time. I don't know how Jackie had to sat on here and just did it for 10 years straight. It took her almost six to seven years before she even started making lucrative money to where she could quit her job. 10 years, 10 years. Somebody could post something that has no substance. Boom. Million views, million views. I mean, I mean, nobody's views is popping how they used to be in 2018, 2019, 2020. Like, even the seafood people, they stuff thing came all the way down. But it's just even the same. It's just like... How do, how do, how, what's the algorithm? What's the secret sauce? What's the T? What's the TEA? Your girl needs the TEA. So I can figure out what I need to do with my, with my, with my audience. But anyway, I'm gonna finish curling this wig. I just wanted to come out. I really thought I was changing my part and I was getting ready to style. And I came and got on camera and this wig is just doing, it's just doing its due. Let me see if I can lower the camera a little bit. Look how pretty that is. What else? I feel like I have some other stuff to tell y'all. I don't know that. I know that's not it. I've been traveling. And now watch. Just as simple as I made this video, I should just be able to edit it, add some music, and put it on YouTube. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to be extra extravagant with my extra extravagant ass and try to find clips that associate with what I'm talking about as I'm talking about it. Like, let me put some Paris clips in here. Let me put some of this stuff in there. And it's just like, girl, just post the video. But I'm just like, no, I need to show y'all more. I can't do bare minimum content. It's hard, it doesn't fit my aesthetic. It's not me. So guess what? Now I gotta go find clips of everything that I talked about. And, and mentioned in this video and post it on post it on the tubes okay i might just come on here and do some little talks at least once a week let's do a weekly talk i think we can do that let's do a weekly talk a weekly diary i need to find a new therapist because my therapist decided she didn't want to practice no more so y'all could be my therapist for now we could talk to things together honey i'm sorry y'all this is so stinking cute. This makes me not want to cut it. But I'm definitely going to go and get bangs. Definitely going to go and get bangs. But y'all, I miss y'all. I really do. I really, really miss y'all. Content. Oh, maybe I should focus it this way. Content is coming. I promise. I promise. I'll be just trying not to bore y'all. But I know the ones that ride for me. Y'all ride for me no matter what. Y'all gonna click on the video. Y'all gonna like it. Y'all gonna watch it. So, I'm gonna get on my Zoom as the kids say. Because 4 plus 4 equals 8. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with all the sayings, y'all. These people be saying some of everything. I'm like, what? child and the drama on tiktok is just crazy i love tiktok tiktok is a fun app i'm not gonna lie it's a really fun app let me let me post a short because i feel like i'm missing some shorts content that's the only thing that's keeping my channel alive y'all it's the easiest thing to do well, i'm gonna finish curling this and i'm gonna show y'all the end result in a second
These are the results. I'm kidding. All right, y'all. That's all that I have. Y'all just wanted to come on here and talk. I ain't talked to y'all forever. Forever. And let's go forward, like, kind of like that. I need some makeup, just a little makeup. Baby, this this gives, honey. If I was going on a date, <laughs> baby, it gives. It gives. But I didn't even know this was going to come up. Baby, when you got them hands, you got them hands. When you just naturally got them hands, you just naturally got them hands. I didn't even have to try hard. I love this for me. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.